Hello, hello. Now it's time to check the demo of Bridgeway. This is a sci-fi deck building rock light game that looks to be pretty interesting and has a pretty cool uh, graphics. Now, let's see if this is uh, any good. Welcome to the Bridgeway Steam Next Fest demo. Yeah, the game is still in active development, so you may encounter bugs, missing sounds and visual effects. Yeah, we know that. Yeah, most of the demos we play, especially on events like the Steam Next Fest, are usually early builds of the game. So many things may, may go wrong. Okay, let's see. Localization is in early stages, primarily focusing on the UI, cards and tutorials. We're actively working on it, so we appreciate your understanding regarding any graphical issues or incomplete translations. Okay. Now, let's check the settings of the game. Graphics high. Let's go ultra. Full screen, bloom, music, speech. Now, speech will be full. Sound effects, let's go like that. Music like this. Yeah, let's see. And here are the, the languages we, we can uh, have in the game. Okay, nice. Now, let's play and see if this is any good. There are a lot of uh, games that are deck building roguelite games lately. So yeah, if you like this Zender, I think you're eating good on the last few years. Now, let's see how this plays. From the screenshot I saw, this looked like we're playing in a FTL uh, along with a deck building game. Let's go. Enable prologue. Yep. Let's let's do this. A sudden jolt awakens you as you hear the distant beeping of door doors opening. As reality creeps back in, you slowly recognize your surroundings, the cramped confines of your quarters on the atlas. Lena Starling also is the lady that came. Hey, wake up. The captain wants to see us on the command deck. He seems pretty agitated and you look uh, croggy as hell. So just let me do the talking. Okay. There is an unusual flurry of activity as you enter the command deck. The captain Standing the data feed on one of the consoles, beckons the two of you over. Our infrared sensors detected a large explosion in a solar space, right where one of their research stations is located. Whatever they were up to, looks like it didn't go as planned. So, this might be our big break then. A chance to turn this scavenging mission around and not go home empty handed. Uh, well, it will well be. We're closer to the station than any other that any of the solar fleets in the system we can reach approaching with the atlas however as it will be picked up by the fleet scanners and will be done for oh so the story is uh, presented with this uh, comic book style okay as a small ship like the magpie though launched at our current speed will get there undetected it will run on minimal reactor capacity using only maneuvering thrusters for flight path adjustments oh so this is the the ship we are gonna command. With all due to respect, sir, the fireworks would likely attract other scavengers by the time we get there. Uh, which is why the lieutenant here is tasked with protecting the magpie in case things go south. I'll assemble a team while you make the necessary preparations. Report now we're correct. Okay, prepare to log out. Sim selection is the sim status screen. You can view statistics such as the number of types of hard points, starting equipment and crew. Each piece of equipment contains a few starting cards. Uh, and uh, has capacity to add more cards as you play. Equipment requires an assigned crew member of action. If you want a better look at your ship, you can orbit the camera while keeping the left mouse button pressed. And use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Once you are done, inspect your ship, click on the accept button in the ship selection window to proceed. Okay, so this small thing is my ship. A combat vessel equipped with an industrial laser cutter and a set of robotic arms perfectly suited for scavenging missions. Oh, I didn't check my crew. Anyway. Alright, if we just follow the nav point and light out, we should be able to be at the records in about two days. And then we're ready to back with the Atlas. 
we just stick to the asteroid belt as much as we can to avoid detection. Easy. I really don't see why the captain decided to put you in charge of my ship. What's your tone? While we are on this mission, this is your new captain. Come on now, we got a mission to do. You can uh, fight all you want once we're back on the polar. Uh, Soon things settle down and everyone is at their assigned post. Time to start familiarizing yourself with the ship command console. Okay, so here we are. Let's see, energy, laser cutter, so that's three cards with slice, nothing there. Okay, this guy has three block thingies, and a target lock for this one. Okay. Your console passes a warning, indicating a combat near your flight path. Not long after, the different sensors flare as, the sp as a ship explodes. The remaining ship chart change course heading in your direction. There is no way their sensors. Their sensors spotted us. We've been running cold for almost a day now. Just our luck then. Their flight path will take them right within radar detection range. Oh yeah, let's see. First combat. I like the cell shading style of graphics in this game. This is your uh, hand of cards, displaying the actions you can take each turn. Each card requires resources to play, shown as a number in the lower part of the card. The color number next to the icon indicates your current energy. Okay. The white number shows your energy income at the start of the next turn. Okay, we're gonna get four. Resources carry over between turns. Enemy actions are based on their equipment. Each piece of equipment has a card slot, indicating the next action. Cards gain one pip each turn. When all pips are filled, the card's holder turns white, signaling that it will be played on the next turn. Okay. You play cards by trying and dropping them over the crosshair region. Attack the enemy by playing two slice cards to advance. Okay, we can take the the enemy this way. Seal pals. Add four seal points. Add four damage. Here is my deck. Slice. So for example, this I slice here, this one. This will break. Oh, I cannot target whatever I want. Okay, let's end turn. Seals are your primary defense, with each seal point blocking one damage. Seals help at the start of each turn, so deploy seals grant. Deploy seal cards just before an enemy attack for maximum effectiveness. Okay. The enemy ship is about to attack. Play a block card to prevent full to prevent half damage from the enemy's upcoming attack. Okay, let's see. After playing a card, it moves to your cooldown pile. Cooldown duration is dedicated by the number next to the this timer thingy icon on the card. Once off cooldown, it returns to your draw pile. Press the tab key to or click the card status UI for an overview of cards in your draw pile in your hand and cooldown. Okay, so with these two cards only to get. Three turns, two turns, okay. Persistent effects. Persistent effects on your ship here above your card hand. Some effects last for a set amount of turns, while others have an upkeep condition you have to meet each turn to maintain the effect. Okay, now what? Slice, target lock. Deal one damage, upkeep, play at least one attack per turn. Okay, post per turn to maintain effect. Also, oh, this thing will keep doing one damage each turn. 
Oh, I see. Enemy shields down. Okay, that's it. And we got some credits, I guess, as a reward. The area is starting to get uh, pretty lively. We should expect more combat as our on our approach to the station. Looks like we're not the only ones uh, stupid enough to raid the solar facility. Uh, too late to hide our presence now. Asking for permission to restore the reactor's ordnance protocol. That should allow us to squeeze some more power out of it. It will also improve our laser photon output. Yeah, okay, let's go. I Captain, that should enable it to emit con concentrated laser puzzles. Won't be a military grade laser, but it'll be close. You will now have the Ordance resource. Ordance is the main resource for attacks. Open your ship status screen to inspect your resource area. Okay. You have one unlocated reactor power. Left click on the Ordance resource to add your extra reactor power to it. You can now redistribute reactor power between your resources at any time. Right click uh, on energy twice to remove two power from it. Left click twice to add two power to Ordance. Your power distribution should be as indicated below. Three, two. Okay, so yeah. Uh, so this gives me four energy each turn, and if I reduce this, I will get two. But this will give me more damage, I guess. Okay. To close the ship status screen, click on the button again. Yeah, by the way, let's see. Yeah, see now? Oh, all the abilities do three. Oh, what's that? Ignite two. Oh, why? What's the two energy cost there? Okay, so let's see. Deal four damage. So if I reduce this even more, okay, this won't do anything else. Hmm. Okay. Let's go on the next one. We've got the ship closing in on our attack vector. Looks like pirates. Oh, that's a pretty cool ship. You can redistribute reactor power anytime in combat. Right click on the resource type to remove one power unit, left click to add. This lets you shift your resources income to suit your needs. Adding one power to resources generate heat. Heat ch changes take place after playing the card next turn. Ships have a heat resistance and dissipation value. Resistance is the output of heat a ship can safely sustain before overheating. Dissipation is the amount of their heat removed at the end of each turn. Every point of overheat deals one half damage at the start of your turn. Okay. Hmm. Heat threshold dissipation one. I should have used block there. Enemy is charging up a heavy blast. We need to take out the laser. Cards with a, this icon 
like the laser balls, are precision attacks that can target specific enemy equipment. Drag and drop these cards over enemy equipment or card and UI all, uh, or over the piece of equipment on the same model to attack it. Each enemy piece of equipment has a durability value indicated by the shield icon. When durability hits zero, the equipment breaks, preventing any actions. Enemy equipment is automatically repaired in three turns. The durability damage from precision cards is indicated by the... Oh, okay, okay. You can right-click to discard unwanted cards, freeing up slots for a new draw next turn. Discard cards go to the cooldown just as they've been played. Consider discarding cards that are not useful in the next few turns. Okay, let's see, let's get this thing. Nice. You can right click to discard unwanted cards. on a flashing subsystem to add it to your cargo bay. Any attack from this weapon that heals that deals health damage adds one hit, okay? Nice. Captain, we shall uh, hook up the mass refiner module to the reactor. It's crucial for improving our reactor power output and strengthening the magpie seal system. Okay. It was originally meant for deflecting dust and minor asteroids, not highly powered lasers. I can modify it to suspend high density particles in a mag its magnetic field, diffusing laser beams and absorbing kinetic force. This improves defense but requires mass. We also salvage a faction subsystem for that ship. I'm sure we can put it to good use. Might help us get, uh, get out of this uh, in one piece. I'll be claiming that as reparations for my ship when we get back to the Atlas. The magpie will need a new coat of paint once we're <laughs> once all of this is over. Okay, let's see. Reactor upgrades. You can upgrade your reactor with credits you gather on your journey. To upgrade your reactor, open the ship status screen. Click on the upgrade. Each upgrade gives you one extra reactor power. Nice. You can now have access to massive resource. Used for upgrades and repairs. Add your upgrade uh, power to mass by left clicking. Yeah, okay. Subsistence enhance compatible equipment, either cards uh, with virus effects. Drag and drop subsystem from the cargo on your modified cutter for application. Only one subsystem of the same type can be added to the equipment. Okay. And this gives me, yeah, that's one hit. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's go on the next one. The remains of the station are in view. Things seem quite but the tension in the crew is palpable. Judging by the infinite emissions, there should be some faction and equipment we can salvage in that section over there. Okay, let's see. Wait, look at the fluctuation in those readings. I'll bet you a week rations that there is a ship lying in wait to spring in Abus. Grab the laser and let's go around to get a jump of them instead. Okay, let's see. Circle around and attack. Advantage. First attack deals plus three. 
move closer and get a better read. Mm. Ah, fuck, let's go. Let's move closer. Okay. So, yeah. I, I, thought, I wanted to see if there was actually an option there. Crew members have abilities you can activate at will during a fight. To inspect crew abilities, hover over a crew member portrait. Abilities do not use regular resources, instead they cost command points and have a cooldown after use. Your command point capacity is determined by the amount of crew on board. Plus 3, max command points per crew member. Uh, let's see, next attack play this turn, deals 50% more. Next seal card, gives 50% seal points. Gain 2 of each resource. Okay, let's see. Attack from this weapon that deals hell. Adds plus one hit. Mm. I think like this is better. Incoming missile. In delayed attacks, incoming enemy missile. You can track missiles in the lower left uh, part of the screen above your hull points. Missiles uh, have a delay of one or more turns before they hit. You can defend against missiles by playing shield cards or shooting them down with special missile defense cards. Okay, in one round he will come back. Okay, now. Oh, what? It was actually... Shields up, Captain. Yeah, we got too much damage on this one. Click on the flash and equipment to add it to your cargo. Click on the add, a card pad on the select the card pad from any piece of equipment on your ship that has available card slots. Okay, let's see. Okay, nice. Pick a card, deal 4 damage, next turn, enemy attack deals minus 2. 
Well, that's pretty good. Seal stream. Gain four seals points and one duration per turn. Disable one uh, production for the duration. Gain four ordens deplete. Hmm. Okay. I think we're gonna grab this one. Morale determines the rate at which your crew command points results entering a, a node. Some choices in events can affect crew morale temporarily or permanently. Very clear. No further hostiles in engagement rage. Deploying a recon drone for the visual sweep of the records. Look behind that plating, that black box in station's main data storage and backup unit. It's bound to have a lot of valuable research data we can sell. Who knows what they're we're cooking up there? Are you out of your mind? If the solar cuts wind of us stealing that, we're as good as dead. We need a new air recycle and ventilation system back at the station, don't we? This way we went on this scavenging run in the first place. This will bring in enough credits for all that and more. Okay, let's salvage. Okay, now let's see what do we salvage here. Drive the equipment from the cargo bay and drop it on the appropriate empty art point. This will add one extra card slot and the cards from the equipment to your deck while in combat. Okay, nice. We took a lot of damage though. Hmm. Okay, let's go next one. Incoming tight beam transmission from the Atlas. Magpie, this is the Atlas. We got the situation. The solar has flagged us for derogation. They most likely got all their sensors pointed at us until we meet up with our patrol ships. An attempt to pick you up will be incriminate us both. We'll be fine, but I'm afraid you'll have to return to the station on your own. Keep your burn minimal and maintain a low profile until you are clear. Roger that, Captain. Stay safe. I've heard about solar derogation methods. I wouldn't want to be in the Atlas right now. There is an alternative route we can take that will keep us away from the major flight corridors and known solar fleet positions. Okay, let's go. Let's go on the alternative thingy. There are two uh, path types in Bridgeway. Main path, shown as blue lines, allows only forward movement. Secondary paths marked by thin yellow lines permit both forward and backward movement. Moving to a node on a secondary path consumes one fuel. Uh, where is my fuel? Is that the sixth thing here? One, two, three, four. Okay, three points of fuel, I guess. Captain, we've intercepted a uh, distress call. A civilian transport is under attack by a dead weight raider. They won't last long without our intervention. If we reroute power to the thrusters for Max Bird, we should intercept in time, pulling the raider's focus. Ah, that's too risky. It will leave us exposed during the approach. The dead weight could attack us freely and we'll be defenseless until combat systems are online. It's a calculated risk. Diverting their fire from transport to us is the only way to save that ship. Our hull should be should hold against the barrage. Let's see. Destruct the pirates and save the civilian. Plus one morale. But the uh, enemy has initiative. Wait until the weapons are fully charged, combat advantage, stay out of this, minus, uh, let's go for the morale. Let's see, the enemy has a black cannon. Black inflicts random damage within a range. Attacks have a shredding value. All damage from flak attacks that is equal or higher than the attack's shredding value triggers the shred status effect on the target. Each shred stack rises flak minimum damage by one. 
thread decrease one by one if not reapply any turn hmm okay he's gonna attack me next turn Okay, let's go. Target hit, Captain. Okay, he's gonna hit me with a laser. Let's go. Okay, nice. Uh, what is that? Add a card. Deal two damage three times in one depletion. Deal four damage. All pulse cards play this turn. Deal one damage. Let's see what's that. Harden strike again. One seal point every time you play a laser or ion attack. Hmm. I think I'm gonna get this one. Okay, now let's see. The point defense cannon you saw from the enemy goes to the auxiliary mount, providing effective defense against enemy missiles. Auxiliary equipment operates without the crew member, but doesn't add an extra cost slot uh, in combat. Open your ship stat to equip it. Okay, operates without crew, but doesn't add extra car slot. Okay. Okay, repair station. To come across a button repair station. A large part of it has been stripped clean by scavengers, but upon closer inspection, one of the maintenance bays still seems to be functioning. Okay, let's do repairs. Okay, nice. We got 12 points back. Sir, the gun is getting ready to fire. They must have some uh, stealth tech that kept them hidden from the magpie's sensors until they made their way into direct engagement raids. Okay, let's go. Get to it, Captain. 
There you are, little magpie. We've been looking forward to have a word with you. This doesn't need to be get messy. Hand over that data core you've got in your hole, and uh, you'll fly away and escape for the rest of the salvage. Fire down and prepare for boarding. No, no, no. Let's go. Let's kill these pirates. Yeah, I'm not gonna let them uh, get into my into my ship. Now let's see here. Okay, now let's get this thing. Enemy missile intercepted. Okay, nice. Next flag attack, the additional max damage. Okay, now let's see, get two resources, get that for the Enemy missile. Okay, 
Yeah, now we're blind with two less damage. Progress. Missile is in flight. What? They just run away, I guess. Okay, let's see. Four damage. All pulse cars play this turn deal one. Eight damage after two, require three. If you don't have seals, add 12 seal points in one duration. Otherwise, gate 6. Mm. Ah, what should I get? Let's get there, raise the seal. Looks like we arrived just in time, Captain. The director dispatched us for your safe return after hearing about the Atlas incident. We'll continue to pursuit of that ship. Your path to the station is secured. Home station up ahead, Captain. Preparing dock procedures. Once dock the station, spin gravity kings in. You and your crew disembark and head to the station quarters to rest while dog workers start unloading the cargo bay. Okay, let's see. I've had our researchers look at the data you've brought back in the black box. While heavily encrypted, we managed to extract some data from the research they were uh, conducting at the station. Oh, look at that. This is our hacker, I guess. It has to do with an anomaly that swept through our system a while ago, knocking out a large part of our electronics. The equipment aboard the research station was able to extract some of the information from it, leading them to believe it was a messenger, a message or a signal of unknown origins. The data shows multiple star systems within the Bridgeway network were similarly affected, which led them to trace the traje trajectories to set uh, of coordinates where they converge. Yeah, let's see, whatever it may be. This information is too dangerous to keep here. The Solari will come looking for it sooner or later. They've all already moving their fleets to close the system bridge way access points. They don't want this getting out. Take the black box with you and leave. Rin will accompany you and try to further decrypt the data. Judging by the Solari response, the signal may lead to something important that could shift the balance of power. Okay, let's see. So, Lena and Ivan are joining you as well. Uh, we're preparing to con convert plus concept in the hangar for you. Posing as a mercenary will allow you to move more freely within the bridgeway network without raising suspicions. Okay. Once you're ready to leave, head to the random system in the bridgeway network and from there start making your way towards the signal. This will take a this should make it more difficult for the solar to connect you to this whole thing. Good speed, Captain. Okay, so now we have a new ship so we can get more cards. It's attack deadlier than the last. Okay, let's see here. Which one should I get? Okay, let's get the all rounder.
Okay. Wow. Faction relations. Most map nodes are under the control of one of the game's factions. Events. Uh, these nodes are influenced by your standing with a controlling faction. Some events can present choices that can modify your relation with one or more factions. Faction relations are grouped as follows. One pip, hate it. Can lead to negative event outcomes and possible ambushes. Two to three, dislike. Lower uh, chance of uh, ambushes and uh, negative events. Neutral with standard event outcomes. And six, allied. Can lead to fire support for allied ships in combat and better rewards. Captain, our sensors detect a group of Starkin gun ships in our flight path. Looks like they are trying to block any ships from entering the system through this bridgeway corridor. Oh, sorry, I didn't notice that. Okay, let's see now. One for every two you spend this. Okay. Gain four. Okay, let's go. Busy with trying to prevent civilians from fleeing the system. Only one gunship has noticed our approach. It's getting our way on an intercept course. Okay, let's do this. Twenty minutes later. Yeah, I think I'm gonna die here. Fuck it, let's go. In a message from a dreadweight captain, it seems to be coming from nearby ship marked as villain inspirator. Pass him through. Attack. Okay, let's listen to this guy. Hell friend, you seem to be a well armed gunship. Might you be looking to earn a nice lump of credits and rip some spoils? This system is rife with chaos, and being uh, on our good side, we'll see you become rich, man, in no time. Mm. I've got a special transporter here, and all you need to do is go bit on your ship and attack that soldier starskin patrol vessel further up ahead. Well, absolutely no repercussions on my that. Okay. Okay, let's see. Mm. Okay, okay, I think this will lower our, our uh, star skin and uh, increase the war uh, thingy. Uh, let's see if I'm right. Hold giving out, Captain. And that's it. Okay, yeah, we that was a uh, good run there. Yeah, we fucked up. Two hours later. So I think I'm gonna go for the elite here, and pray for the best. Can I go there? No. So I have to go like this, and then turn there. Oh, repair station. Hmm. Well, let's see. Everything seems quiet. The sensors are not picking anything up. Okay, now. Oh, we cannot go this way. Come on. Oh, we don't have... Oh, now... Yeah, now I remember. If we want to go back, we have to spend fuel. Token station, dislike, reject your... Yeah, yeah, fuck you. Okay, let's just finish. 
Your crew managed to access the data of nearby observation station, giving you the coordinates and drive signatures of all ships in the vicinity. I can feed the data to your targeting system and prepare a first strike protocol for all ships in the area in case things get hairy. Oh, look at that! Plus 50% attack damage first round of next combat. Okay, nice. That's a pretty decent buff. Ah, oh, well. Let's see. Does the boss count as an elite fight? Or had to do another elite here? Oh, well. Scanning for the sector exit, your sensor pick up a massive vessel in about an attack vector. This sector is locked down. Any ships attempting to leave are marked for termination. Yeah, yeah. Buckle up, boys! Looks like we're uh, in to fight our way out. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. We have the buff. Let's see if we can actually kill the boss of this uh, run. Oh, fuck me. How many abilities this thing has? Damn. Okay. Okay, let, let's chill and uh, think this through. Okay, so he has lighter rounds. Flak. Okay, this will increase his flak damage. He already has a fucking flak barrage. That does a lot of damage. 3 to 7. He has a missile. He's gonna get 12 points of shield. Hmm. Draw and play in proof. He provides flak card every turn after receiving hull damage. Oh. Damn. Okay, now let's me think here. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah, just kill me. That was bad. Yeah, bye. Meow. Yeah, we fucked up. Later. Oh, we unlock this one? Oh, we unlock that one. Hmm. Okay, this one actually has black cannons. And what else? Seal pals. Uh, let's see. Gain two if you end your turn with three or less. Hmm. Oh, that's an upgrade. That's pretty good. Resource. Gain four. Four seals. Gain, yeah. Your next flag attack deals max damage. Deal two to four. On hull damage, apply one thread. Hmm. And he has a repair kit. Okay, this looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna get the Marauder. And see how far we can go with this one. Okay. Let's see. New ship. Let's go. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. Now, let's see if we can actually complete this with this one. Okay. Now. Got the coordinates. We got for a free roamer. Inform that are leading straight through this sector. Straight the blockade. Yeah, yeah. Avoid any solar and starking stations. Oh, look at that. Now, these things are different. Best to avoid any solar and starking stations after we clear this blockade. They might be hate each other, but they hate us pirates more. Oh, okay. I have an old friend in this sector. He owes me some favors. Might be wise to pay him a visit. I mark the location. Okay. Okay. Oh, so now we're uh, a dead weight. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so now he has two attacks to play. Okay, disable one. Three missiles. Oh, I wanted to discard this one too. Fuck. Hmm. Or seal. Yeah, I cannot use this anymore. A 
How much these guys do? Orb? Yeah, I think we're dead. Yeah, no matter what I do, we're dead here. But yeah, the pirates has a lot of more potential. I think I'm gonna keep playing with the pirates. Yeah, we're dead. Okay, okay, let's go. Let's start again. Yeah, we started really good on that one, but yeah, we fucked up. The next day. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go with this uh, ship. I still cannot believe that we lost the previous run. That was so good. We had some so much luck and then we fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's go. Can I? To be honest, I will. Uh, I wish there was a speed up uh, value on the game so we can go faster. Get the shield, avoid damage. Get that. Again, oh, I forgot to use that. Next turn, I guess. down next okay this is pretty good okay nice start Let's go. Get sail. Mm, yeah, let's go. Yeah, I should have used this thing. Okay. Yeah, I should have used it uh, early on, but hey. Okay, yeah, nice. Now, if we get that rare card early on, that's pretty good. Yeah, the relentless. Uh, gain 10 seal points, required sealed it. Okay, so we can use this only when we have sealed already. Gain 4, deplete. Yeah, that we need uh, some extra resource management. Get in. 
Yeah, I'm gonna get a quest. Light laser basic ion. Yeah, let's get the ion thingy. Now, let's see here. Six ion damage. On seal break, add six ion eyes. Deal eight ion damage. On a seal break, disable target equipment for two rounds. Oh, that's really good. Okay. Maiden and sip. Dislike. Hmm. Yeah, I want to go over there. Can we go like that? Or should I go like this and return to the space station? Yeah, let's go like this. Okay, combat, let's go. Let's do this fast. Okay, now let's see. Heavy barras. Deal 2 to 5. On Hull, apply 1 assert. Thread, sorry. Mm. So no matter what, we cannot delay that. Hmm. Shield up, Captain. Let's get one barrier. Okay, this uh, thing is delayed now. Oh yeah, with Iron Eyes we might have better control overall. Hmm. Okay, nice. Okay, that's delayed. Get sealed. Shielding enhanced. Okay, that's delayed. Come on, give me the card back. We have twenty five percent chance to get it, but
yeah let's go like this because if i use the ion this might have been delayed but we want to delay the sharp metal so we don't take any more damage okay he's dead now okay nice Add three damage two times. Deal eight ion damage, draw an offense card. Gain two and two. If active, disable. What? If active, disable the protection for one turn. Hmm. I think I'm gonna get this one. Extra production is pretty good. Yeah, we need a lot of resources to complete the elite guys. Okay, now let's see. Maiden and Sip. Waypoint neutral. Okay, wait. Barely took any damage. Hmm. Let's see you have held by maintenance ship. Not too far away from your position. The offer to perform some repairs for a price. Six hold for 30. Mm, okay, fuck it. Let's repair before we go for the elite. Okay, now let's see if we can do this with my new weapons. Okay, let's see here. Covering fire. Black. Hmm. Okay. Really weird uh, <laughs> choice of uh, things of uh, abilities for the first round. Hmm. Okay, he's gonna use this thing. Mm, yeah, fuck it, let's go. Okay, we didn't uh, discard anything. Okay, I think we need some extra seal.
Okay, now. Okay, delay that fucker thing. Next. Really? The fucker bro max damage to me? I think I'm gonna get the extra armor here. Okay, nice. That was worth it. Nice. Give me that. I think we have them. We have them now. Shields up, Captain. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, no damage on this turn. Mm. Oh, really? We just delay, delay that. Okay, we're gonna get some damage now. Let's pray for three points. Okay, nice. Mm. Yeah, I expected uh, this to return one card to me. Okay, decent uh, job against this guy. Every third laser attack, play in the same turn, deals 3 damage.
Retaining laser guard from this card of your hand. Deal 6 ion, deal double damage if you're unsealed it. Oh, this is pretty good too. What the I think I'm gonna get this one. Double ion damage if unsealed it. Even though this seal thingy was pretty good. No. Okay, now let's see. There was able to patch up our hull a little with some of the salvas we took of that ship. Four points, nice. Now, every third laser. Deal that. Yeah, okay, let's get this thing here. Hmm. Deserted fuel station. I think I'm gonna increase my energy capacity. Mm. Let's go like that. Last one fuel. Okay, another uh, combat here. Now, come on, load up. Now next turn he's gonna get the field up. Mm, I'm gonna get four points of seal. Throw that in. Thank you. Now I'm gonna get that one going. Okay, we cannot target that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, now let's see if we can kill this guy. Bye bye. Yeah, sorry, I was uh, taking the ion weapons. Oh yeah, I like the ion weapons. You can actually stun lock an enemy. Okay, let's get more ion lasers. Okay, we got some I'll repair. Let's go towards the station. Give me a second. Okay, now let's see. Yes, sail, black cannon. Enemy operation. Okay, we disable both of them. Yeah, yeah, keep stacking uh, your damage heal. Cannot do maths. Mm. 
Bye bye. Ah, that was a pretty good combo. Still three damage two times. Hmm, I think I'm gonna get this sealed. Yeah, let's get this one. Even though that hit that goes for two times. Give me a second. What's the ability we got? Yeah, we have the one equipment that might have worked great with that. Give me a second. Every third laser attack play this in the same turn deals plus three. Hmm. Anyway, let's go on the space station. Yeah. Yeah, free roamer. It's rare to see a friendly face. Plus eight points. Okay, we're full. Crew activities. Plus two morale. Thank you. Enter the hunger. Now, what can we get here? On this base, on this space station. Okay, let's see. Oh, what is that? One for every one production, draw a card. Oh, let's see, what is this? Uh, adds a diffraction field card to your deck. Enemy laser attacks deal minus two while you are shielded. Add a flag cell card to your hand after you play a light flag. Plus one missile damage. Add a firefly. No. Add cards from this equipment. Attack cards from this equipment deals plus two but cost plus one. Railgun. Hmm. Yeah, nothing great. Mm. Really? We cannot get anything useful on this uh, base station? Oh, uh, well, we repaired the uh, 8 points. And uh, we actually repaired for free, so that's something. I think I'm gonna go here and get this elite. Proceed. Mm. Yeah, let's get this elite fight. Okay, now. Hmm. some uh, mass mm. now let's get a lot of seals okay nice no damage so far Okay. 
Okay, disable that. Nice. That will when I sealed it. Hmm. gonna do some damage now let's get two resources This thing is really good. You really can delay the fight until uh, you can actually do the most out of it. Okay, let's see here. Let's get this thing going. Oh, come on. I expected this thing to give me an attack card back. Again, no cards back. Shields up, Captain. Okay, nice. So with this thing, we can actually play, get this one back too. Enemies ionized. This 
discard that. I need more attack uh, thingies. Yeah, we have enough uh, ordnance now. Yeah, we need something like that. Uh, Oh, come on, give me an extra attack or something. Mm. Yeah, I should have used this thing and this will have been done. Oh, well. Ionizing this fucker so he cannot use anything. Give me a laser. <laughs> you cannot do anything now with uh, all those ionization going on. Okay, finally. Oh, let's go for that one. Bye bye. Nice. Second lead down. Return an attack from your discard pile to your hand if your. If you end your turn with no attack cards in hand. Nice, that's great. Deal 4, pulse card, cost minus 1. Uh, gain 2 shields, plus 2 for every production of energy. Total 10 points. Oh yeah, so... Yeah, we're gonna... Hmm. Barricade. Mm. Yeah, I think we're gonna get this one. We need more attack uh, abilities. Okay, now let's see. By the time your crew has finished gathering any useful salsas, salvage from the enemy records, the cobalt lock data transfer is complete. Thank you, 150. Just by the time between the data transfer and the incoming message, the data broker's ship should be within scan range. But our sensors are not picking anything up. Ooh, creepy. Now. Hmm. Okay. Return an attack card from your, from your discard to your hand if you end your turn with no attack cards in the hand. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Now, if I use it here... Mm, yeah, I'm gonna think about it. Give me a second. Mm, 
Bear sip neutral. Six for thirty. Okay. Now escape pod. Let's go there. Hmm. Oh yeah, this guy. Hmm. Yeah, let's give him a get him on a jail. Okay, he's gonna this the fight will start. Oh yeah, I didn't equip my new equipment there. I was thinking where should I place it? I'm probably gonna place it on the lasers. Hmm. Let's ignore that. Nice. Hmm. we're good yeah we're gonna survive the flak hmm Only we had some uh, <laughs> energy to use this one. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, no problem. That is not a decent amount of damage. Okay, we can keep disabling this guy. Enemy operations delayed. Okay, he's now he's not gonna reload his flak thingy. Hmm. 
throw that. Yeah, disable the missile. Or not, I guess. Incoming So three and four seven. Yeah, let's do this on the next turn. Or to be honest, I can actually mm, give me a second. Those cost three. Uh, okay, that's three two. Okay. Yeah, let's do some damage. One to me. We've been hit, Captain. Yeah, we're fine. is gonna die. Okay, nice. One more down. Next turn, fire as many laser pulses as your... Uh... Oh, okay, allows. Okay. Turbo laser. Next ten fire as many lasers as your Oh does it mean this one? Huh So it's like uh laser pulses as your allows so so if we have like uh so we use this and uh he's gonna keep spamming that the Hmm, I think I'm gonna get this one. Okay, now. Now let's get that equipment uh, on my laser cannon. Okay, four whole points repaired, almost full health. Return an attack for your discard pile to your hand if you end your turn with no attacks in hand. Ah, oh, fuck it, let's get this equipped. Oh, can I? Engineering bay. Hmm. 
Okay, so this doesn't fit on any things we have here. Hmm. Now, where are we? Okay, let's go on the station. Dog. Collect the bounty. Through activities. Plus morale. Enter the hunger. Okay, I think we have the potential to win against the boss now. Especially because we can actually destroy the seals with my iron thingy. Laser, flak, iron, missile, rock. Your first attack with this weapon in the first turn of combat doesn't cost any resources. Uh, every third railgun attack deals two extra damage. But that's two hit. Plus two cooldown. Uh, while sealed it, unsealed it, reduce cost of the seal by two. While sealed, increase cost by one. Now this might be good. Hmm. Anyway, let's repair engineering bay. Oh yeah, we can sell that for 75. Or we can actually keep it to be honest. First strike doesn't cost any resources. And a seal generator. Okay, let's get the seal generator. An alpha strike. Okay. And we have money to spare, to be honest. Okay, I think we're good. Now let's go kill the boss. Heading for the sector exit, your sensors pick up a massive vessel inbound for an attack the vector. The sector is locked down. Any ships attempt to leave are marked for termination. Back lap. Looks like we have to fight our way out. Okay, let's get this guy down. I think we have great potential now with this build. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Improvised flag card. Every turn after receiving hull damage. Hmm. Yeah, we don't care about the seals. Hmm. 
are now shielded. Incoming missile. I should have upgraded my ship, I forgot. But there were how many credits we had? Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, has sailed now. This will drop all the seals down from this fucker. Hmm. Enemy shield down. Hmm. So we're gonna play three lasers now. I think I should keep this for uh, when we actually play one of these things. All the lasers have uh, extra damage. Yeah, like this. Now, what we need is uh, this thing. This will make great use uh, of the turbo laser. Pretty decent diamonds. You fucker. Okay. Oh, finally. Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, this, this is the next there. Yeah, fucked up there. Ah, fucked up. Anyway, I think we're good like this. 
nothing is attacking us this turn. Oh, he might use that. Hmm. Yeah, no, th that's better. Ah, really fucked up there. Anyway, let's disable most of his system there. Nice, keep going. Yeah, well, I, I thought my the turbo laser is played on the same turn. Hmm. Okay, he's going for the concussive bullshit. Seriously, just disable the concussive thing. We have three. Yeah, we have plenty of attacks here. Mm. Enemy operations delayed. Okay, fuck you. This will be used the next turn. The turbo laser was a, a way to win this fight. I really fucked up. Yeah, for some reason I thought it was instant. The moment you use it, you do the things. Uh... Anyway, now he's getting sealed. That's disabled. Yeah, this will. Uh, my seal will be over the next turn. Hmm. Okay, let's go now. Disable the seal of this, of this fucker. Enemy 
shields down. What the fuck I'm doing? Yeah, I don't have energy here. Oh my god, I'm doing so many mistakes on this fight. Come on, focus. For sure. Anyway, now let's see. Six points are coming. Okay, let's see. Come on, give me, give me energy, give me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Come on, come on. We can do this. Yeah, now he's getting this sealed up. Enemy shields down. Okay, I think we caught him. Fuck you. Nice. Boss down. Oh yeah. And I guess that's it. And we finished the demo. Yeah, finally we did a successful run. Thank you for playing the Bridgeway demo. Wishlist today ahead of the early access on March 22nd, 2084. This is only a taste of what the full game will become. We're going hard on getting everything ready for early access. Now, where you can expect new ships to discover and unlock, each with their own playstyle and challenges, new equipment, subsystems, and weapons to specialize your ship with unique cards and synergies. More regions with their own unique environments, events, enemies, and epic boss battles. New crew members, each with their own abilities and roles, and more environments. Finding asteroid fields in the atmosphere of planets, dense nebulas and ion storms, each with their own effects on combat. And more side missions, smuggling, body hounding, mercenary work, and even some good old-fashioned piracy, and much, much more. Yep, I guess we're gonna get a lot of uh, cool stuff on the full version, or on the early access version of this game. Yeah, I guess that was the demo of uh, Bridgeway. Yeah, this is a pretty cool, uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool roguelite deck building game with a pretty cool art style. Yeah, this is like combining FTL with a deck building game. Yeah, FTL with Slay the Spire, that's the combination. And as you saw there, it's pretty hard. You really have to be careful and uh, uh, try not to make any mistakes because yeah this game is pretty brutal at, uh, especially on the late stages and uh, with all the content they mentioned there and that will be added in the early access i think this is a pretty decent game for those that like this kind of uh, uh this gender the deck building rock light games yeah that was a uh, pretty good we played the demo from uh, steam and yeah i think this game will be only on steam uh, at least on the beginning and i'm not sure if they're gonna release it on other platforms later on but yeah if you like uh, ftl or slay the spire and a combination of the two yeah that's here's your game yeah, that was pretty good that was the demo of bridgeway i hope you like it